Pamela Sue Martin. It's true that she wasn't the first to take on the role of Nancy Drew, but I think it's fair to say that she was the best. And she was pretty, very pretty. But she was also able to pull off smart. And the combination of the two, well, it had the makings of a hit television series. So when the Hardy Boys Nancy Drew Mysteries debuted on ABC in the late 70s, I was all in, especially for Nancy Drew. Even though I was an avid reader of the Hardy Boys book series, on television, it kind of felt like the target audiences were reversed. Girls were going crazy for actors Parker Stevenson and especially David Casty's half-brother Sean Casty. I don't know if that was it, but for whatever reason, I actually enjoyed the Nancy Drew episodes more. And I really dug it when Nancy would team up with Frank and Joe for a mega mystery. That was definitely the best of both worlds. For the uninitiated, Nancy Drew is an amateur sleuth, although she prefers the term part-time investigator, and daughter of defense attorney Carson Drew. The two live in the fictional town of River Heights, New Jersey, and Nancy solves mysteries with her best friend Georgia, or George Fane, pictured alongside Nancy here, and her father's paralegal, Ned Nickerson, with whom she shares an ambiguous romantic connection. I guess it is worth mentioning that somewhere along the way things went a bit south for Pamela Sue and for whatever reason, she left the Hardy Boys Nancy Drew series before the network was ready to end its run. Because of that, producer Glenny e. Larson, who would go on to create a slew of awesome shows like Battlestar Galactica and Knight Rider, was forced to recast the character. For the final eight Nancy Drew episodes, actress Janet Louise Johnson took over the role. She was fine, but she wasn't Pamela Sue. And it is also probably worth mentioning that Pamela Sue also made an appearance in a particularly well-known men's magazine of the era. In that magazine, Pamela Sue indicated that she left the Hardy Boys Nancy Drew Mysteries because she had become frustrated with what she felt like was a reduced role when the show changed format a bit. You see, at some point they decided to merge the two shows together, and like I said, I liked those episodes the best. But I can see where that would have been frustrating for Pamela Sue. Regardless of the reason for her departure, Pamela Sue found even greater success portraying Fallon Carrington Colby on the ABC nighttime soap opera Dynasty, from its debut in 1981 through the end of the fourth season in 1984. And hot on the heels of that success, Pamela Sue hosted Saturday Night Live in 1985 and demonstrated a real flair for comedy. But then, Pamela Sue just kind of dropped off Hollywood's radar. While it seemed to those of us who were used to seeing her on TV that she simply disappeared, the reality is that she chose to live her life. And I have a ton of respect for people like that who step away from the limelight because they realize that their priorities have changed. And that is exactly what happened with Pamela Sue. According to TV Guide a few years back, she focused most of her time raising her son Nick in a quiet little country house in Idaho. She has also been acting and directing regional theater, but she makes sure that she still has time to work with causes that she believes in, such as PETA, Save the Whales, Greenpeace, and various human rights and AIDS organizations. Over the past few years, Pamela Sue has slowly been dipping her toes back into showbiz. The very first thing that she did was make an appearance on that 70s show. And you know what? She didn't miss a beat. It was as if Pamela Sue hadn't even left. An appearance on the Showtime series The L Word followed, and a few years later she appeared in the feature film McTaggart's Fortune. And then, in 2017, Pamela worked alongside her former Hardy Boys colleague Parker Stevenson in The Holiday Romance My Christmas Prince. I love these movies, and I've got to say it was so much fun to see these actors work together again. All these years later, you know what, they've still got chemistry. And when Nancy Drew returned to network television in 2019, guess what? Pamela was part of the pilot episode. I've got to say that it was great to see her return to her Nancy Drew roots, even if she did play a different character. So there you go. That's what happened to Pamela Sue Martin. Okay, now it's your turn. Please share your thoughts as well as any other memories that you might have in the comments section. And while you're at it, I'd love a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video, and I would be absolutely honored if you would consider subscribing to my channel. I talk about music, movies, and mostly TV from the 50s, 60s, 70s, and 80s. You know the good stuff. But most importantly, and as always, thank you so much for watching.